Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for mCreator. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, variables. Uh, this is going to be a four part series. Uh, probably going to take about a couple weeks to get through. It's mostly going to be broken up into separate uh, areas. For example, the first one I'm just going to cover um, basically the states of variables, uh, variable names, and uh, the next uh, part will be covering global variables, then the part after that will cover local variables, and the part after that will cover NBT variables for entities and blocks. So the first thing that we need to talk about is variable names and how variables work. So how variables work, uh, we need to know that first before we can start typing any variable. Uh, variables basically are a placeholder that um, you can store specific data to. For example, if I wanted to store a number from something that is generated in the um, in my procedure, I would be able to store it in a variable and then use it across multiple things. Um, it's not just specifically to one thing, you can use it for multiple things. Uh, it's also good for keeping specific settings and just a ton of other things that you can do with it. Um, now, when you're naming things for variables, uh, your variable name always needs to start with a lowercase. It's always best to do it that way. So for example, if you wanted to call it um, basic variable, we would call it uh, with a lower lowercase b basic and then we would type uppercase for the new variable uh, word this is just to keep it easy to see so variable i probably totally butchered at typing that but that's okay you can name your variables anything you want um, as long as it starts with a lowercase and uses text only i think you might be able to yeah you can use numbers after it as well uh, not in front of it though. It will light up red when you, when the variable name isn't correct. So the next thing after we know that it's going to be stored to that specific word uh, variable name, what we can do is actually type basically select what kind of variable type it's going to be. So logic is basically um, a true or false statement. It's a boolean, I think it's called, and that's basically where it's testing for uh, one or the other types of states uh, being true or false and if it's something true you can basically set it to true and then you can use it test for other things in the procedure somewhere later on or another procedure um, if it's false or true and then basically run the procedure based on that um, numbers are basically anything that um, you want to store as a number it can be point form it can be solid numbers uh, it can go up pretty high so uh, numbers are pretty specific to numbers only and strings are basically text variables that uh, will be able to store text based um, text based uh, basically variables that you type in and uh, you can basically use it in further use of other things uh, for example, you can use uh, numbers, uh, letters, and I think even characters because it's a string. So, but then again, it's only specific to word variables. So it's not like you're going to be able to use it for numbers or anything like that. So other than that, uh, that's basically a quick overview of what a variable is. Um, next part, again, we're going to be covering a global variables where I'm going to give you an example of how you can use... Um, some global variables to make a timer and uh, how to basically uh, continue to save an XP uh, count and then basically spawn the player with uh, that last known uh, XP amount. So other than that, uh, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and definitely tune in for next uh, the next part and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Thanks for watching.